Hey guys, we're blowing way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Rick. I'm Shane. And we are back with Attack on Titan. Last time. What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Take it off your fingernails. Why are your hands so warm? It's freaked me out. Pass your neck. <laughs> Touch your hands. They're warm. It's weird. It freaked me out. Pass your neck. Dead. <laughs> Looks like you just took what? Forever. Like waiting for this moment. Daughter got me sick already. <laughs> oh, that's how he knows his hands get, get warm. Um, yeah, we had Pastor Nick dead. Uh, dead. Tortured. Got his, got his gave no information. Because multiple fingernails were pulled, so we believe he gave nothing. Yep. Yeah. And then we also had these gun wielding psychopaths. Kenny the Ripper's crew. <laughs> yes. Took connected out. to Levi somehow. Nia or something like that? That one girl who's got yep. like a redhead? I like mm -hmm. her. Yeah. Dead. And um, yeah, they sprung the trap, and it looks like they're all fucked. Um, and then they also uh, they were yeah. they were hiding, and then that that's where they went. Well, it's so. like and it's, it was weird just to see like this formidable human threat. You know what I mean? Sure. So and like the new things we haven't seen. Yeah, some sort of like conspiracy going on. Like we don't know who hired them, but something to do with the government. We discussed some government conspiracy kind of things yeah. going on. Yeah, well, I think the big thing was like it was like the church and the government were they separate conspiracies or were they? Were they tied together with the Titans, or you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a civil war. Kenny the Ripper, some sort of mass murder, slit the throat of a hundred MPs. That was the legend. How would he get away with that? Levi said the legend was true. I get away past like fifty. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe it was all in one night. I think past fifty, you get your throat slit, it's your fault. We had some uh, uh, hideout right with them, and then they went to try to like transport Historia and right. Aaron through, and then they faked off and put them in a, in a wagon that's being Gene and Armin now. were dressed up. Uh, Armin was getting fondled. Yep, and that's where our other heroes were with, over there with Mikasa and all them. So we gotta figure out what's going on with that crew and if they can get back and help Levi to hopefully maybe save Aaron and uh, Historia, because they're in that wagon, and I yeah. think that's what they're attacking. And there were so many guys, just Levi. Well, and like the plan was, you know, let's go behind the back of the military and get the hell out of Dodge and like do our own thing. So they're not gonna go down quietly. Yeah. See. So let's see how quiet they are. And if you wanna see the reaction, make sure you go to the website, description box down there. Mm -hmm. Has a Check link. out this Click this it there. It's awesome. That's a hoodie, Shane. It's a hoodie, it's with a zipper. A hoodie with a zipper, on the website right now. Well, got some back, definitely got some awesome background. On uh, Levi. Yes, and probably the best fight scene. Yeah, in like, this thing. it's definitely for me. Like, any animation was like kicked up to 100. The choreography was so creative. It was so good. So, I mean, like, it's, I, I think I'm good at choreography, but like, I can't imagine doing, like, just envisioning all that stuff. You know what I mean? Well, that's, it's so, yeah, it's so different to what we've done They're before where you're in the air and motor pathways, yeah. like, got not even close to developed. I mean, you know for 90% I mean? of that fight, all he had was ODM gear fight with like he uh, I guess he had his swords but ma mainly he was using the ODM gear yeah. to kill yeah. humans yeah just and I've always wondered what that would be like I'm so glad we we saw it too like just the ODM gear going into them you know what I mean yeah and like you know <clears throat> pulling like, them and using that to forward your momentum while also killing that guy I wonder how it pulls on him like without ripping mean? out but I mean I have a terrible idea of like it just goes into your like into your rib cage and like plants in there yeah. Uh, in that case, you gotta be kind of almost dead already. I would imagine there's some sort of release mechanism thing that like collapses it back so they can pull it back out or something. But yeah. Wait, this device was developed not to exterminate titans but to directly counter ODM gear for use in fighting other oh, humans. I read that. With yeah. speed exceeding human perception. The device exhibits tremendous dominance in cities and forests. So they're talking about the guns. Yeah. The one time I didn't go back and look at the time, you weren't ready. Six Six shots, human. two magazines. See, I thought it the G shots. As a six shot. Yeah. Six, yeah. It's definitely something out of Trigun, which I know you guys haven't seen, but it's sort of like a sci-fi western sort of thing. Um, he seems like a character that would be directly out of that, which okay. is cool, because it's yeah. a great show. Okay. Uh, okay. No, just... yeah, the, the fight with the ODM gear and with this stuff here, like, they both operate very similar, but just, it's just they have, like, they're just like shotguns versus swords, you know? It's Just when I think Levi can't be more of a badass, he is exponentially more of a badass. Yeah. I love the bar scene. Like him, yeah. him hiding into the bar and stuff yeah. like that and using the reflection to... Yeah. Just the way he used that gun, dude. Oh, man. So Kenny raised Levi. Yeah. There was that shot... Taught him everything. There was that shot with, like, the... They lived in hell emaciated together. Emaciated... Child. Yeah, which... I guess it did look like Levi. Like, yeah. you said about looking like Levi. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, I guess it did. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. like, you know, the, they grew up in the slums or whatever and had to they fight said, tooth and nail to survive. Well, they said about growing up in that hole, or they, they were in... They, 
what was it? Some of that hole together. They were in that hole together. Yeah. Um, they got rooted. Somehow they worded it. And about something about uh, knowing the, the outside world or the real Forced world. Forced to survive in that hell hole. But that's like they said something about knowing that there was another world out there and how angry we got. I wonder Knowing if, the outer world or the greater world or something like that, right? I wonder if they're from another city, like another... Well, they had that shot of, like, someone making, a, a like, a balloon and they're, like, killing those people. Well, yeah, yeah. they were covering, uh... Like, they, they don't want people to have, like, a high vantage of everything. Well, and did, didn't Armin's... His family, his parents were killed because they were too curious, right? I don't remember why they were... I hate curious people. But yeah, I mean, you know, what if no one knows about this Kenny or whatever because they're from another city? As it was. When we found out just how big the world really was. Yeah. So I'm curious what he means by that. Because a lot of this does seem like it's, you know, like the, the, so the inner, the inner MPs have been keeping the peace by basically keeping control of the humans. So anyone who's doing things they shouldn't be doing or that they don't think they should be doing, they've been keeping the king's peace. Yeah. So... They said, like, about, they said about a teacher who knew too much. Yeah, they said about, um, damn, what, what was it? Well, this is like what I said in the last The reaction. Charter of Humanity. Yeah. So, some- so, like, there's some sort of rules that all humanity guides by, but only the elite know. Well, just like the last one, I thought maybe, like, there's more to the outside world, but, like, everything that we see takes place on, like, like a continent, like one small continent or, like, a... Or a bio like yeah. big Or, yeah, like a big-ass, like, island. I mean, there's the wall. I think the wall is what keeps yeah. them in. Yeah. And then the, the fear of the Titans keeps them from exploring past the wall. Yeah. Right? But there are the scouts. So they have, like, a group of people that go out that don't know the secret. Yeah, but they've always been destroyed and stuff, too. Maybe it's just, maybe that's hope. That's giving people hope to go out. They don't count. And then they tell the Titans where it's going to happen. So then they, they take care of them and stuff, you like know? Like Big Boss style and Metal Gear? Maybe, yeah. Damn. Okay. Like, you send some out there to give hope, whatever, but then you, you turn on it and make sure that it doesn't ever get achieved. You know? Yeah, one thing Kenny t- was talking about, like, his dreams slipping farther and farther away. What do you think that meant? I don't know. It didn't... I mean, this is where he was kind of... And they were kind of talking about him working with the MPs uh, I, not I, too long before he said that. I kind of get a brawn feeling from him to where, like, he's trying to get into nobility by doing all this stuff, maybe. Okay. I don't know. He just seems like that kind of character. Okay. Okay, Braun. <laughs> but Lord Rice hired Kenny directly <coughs> without blessing from the king or the council. Well, the king and them didn't seem to care at that moment, right? No, but, I mean, they didn't know. They said, like, oh, you know, um, Historia and Aaron got away, and, like, they didn't seem to have a plan. And then they were informed that, oh, Lord Rice captured them. Okay. Well, he said, he said he was going to take care of it. They weren't even informed of the capture. Right? Weren't they? I think he's informed that Lord Rice says that he has a plan and he will take care of the scouts and Aaron and Historia. And he needs no further assistance. Yeah, he needs no yeah. further assistance. Yeah. Like yeah, he seemed to embrace his daughter. You know, like he's upset that, that you know, he's been wanting her this whole time because she was sent away. Yeah. Even though I'm un- unclear exactly on how, the, the manner in which she was sent now. You know what I mean? It's got a, or maybe he did, now he regrets it. That's something to do with the Charter of Humanity, I guess. It would, okay. It would be my only guess, but... Yeah, I don't know why. Like, if she's so important, why would you put her in a position where she would be in danger? Yeah. I mean, they need her alive for something, just like they need Aaron alive for something. Or they just, they know they can't kill either one, maybe. Like, if you if you try to kill Aaron, will he die? Or will he, if they shot him, would he turn into a titan? That's why they that's why they tranked him. Yeah. This Historia a similar thing? Does she have that in her as well, and that's why they didn't want to kill her? Maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know. There's something more with her. I don't know. There's... Lord Rice, if he has any control of having her now, I feel like he would have had control of having her then. Okay. I think. But, I mean, they did hide her amongst the military, I guess. But to put yeah. her in a scout seems like a terrible idea if you wanted her to live. Seems bad, although she might have made that choice. Like, the, the, you know, she had the option to stay in the interior, right? But she chose to go with Ymir into the scouts. So maybe they had anticipated, like, oh, it doesn't matter what her scores are. We're going to make sure she is eligible for the, the inner garrison thing but mm-hmm. but it, it threw a wrench in their plan when she chose to do the scouts yeah maybe okay maybe I don't know but we did find out um, about that conversation between Ymir and Bertolt uh, Aaron will be devoured and I assume that's to give his power to someone else mm-hmm. I don't remember that but he's already been devoured once right now was that a conversation we heard 
Or is he thinking about when they talked about their friend? Yeah. And about, like... Like, they, they had some li- talking about Ymir eating, I guess, the other guy. Right, and then she became and, sentient. Yeah, again. instead of, like, you stole the power of the Titans or whatever. So is it more of he's thinking of that, or was there another conversation that, like, we didn't hear? I don't he- think we heard the conversation that they're referencing in this episode. Okay. The one about Aaron being devoured. Well, I'm not saying that they... That's what, I guess that's, that's what I'm asking. Did Bert Holt say to Ymir, we're going to take Aaron to get eaten? Or did he, is he talking about hearing Ymir ate this person and got this power? They don't want Aaron to have this power, oh. so they're probably taking me. So did they say that, or did Aaron put it together? Is he, yeah, he's like, I can't believe I forgot about that. They said this. I bet they want to eat me, thus taking the power. But they ate him once, right? I mean, he didn't uh, die, well, I guess. I guess it's a thing. He, but he was in the stomach. He got eaten by a random titan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which, same thing, I mean, Ymir was Ymir, just a random Ymir titan. Ymir yeah. So, I don't know, in theory. But I guess he grew and busted out of it. Or, or maybe his story is the only one that can eat him. Or, or something. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know. Or maybe he... I mean, he didn't change until after that. Maybe something to do with him getting eaten by the Titan jump-started it. It works reverse it, with him? It jump-started it into becoming a Titan for some reason. But, no, but yeah, that was just my question. It was like, did he actually hear them say, here's sure. what our plan is? Or, or so, did he interpret the conversation? Yeah. So I would think of it more like, what? Well, oh my god, I can't remember. I heard the plan. Yeah. Or he's like, oh man, I can't remember. I forgot about that. Sure. I bet they're going to try this. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's more like that. No, I I think you're probably right. So. In that instance. We have some character stuff. Armin, he's <coughs> really distraught that he killed a person. Armin and Jean both are having. Time to be a man. You're seeing their yeah, both of their struggles with me. You know? Make yeah. us, uh, no struggle. Yeah. Well, but yeah, <laughs> they're focusing a lot on Armin and John. Like, yeah. Struggling to kill humans. Sure. Like, yeah, and like you know, are, are we on the right side? Even Levi doesn't know. It's like they made a choice, and yeah. But you're really liking what Levi was saying about it, then. Yeah, what you were saying definitely. Or is Levi? I don't want to kill anybody, but if someone's trying to kill me, and my friends, and yeah, I want to kill them. I mean, I like, <laughs> I like the line he said where it was like, you know, all of your squad is alive because, because of you. you got because you got blood in your hands. hands. Yeah. Do, do Do you think Levi is just following Irvin in this, or do you think Levi is? I mean, he's kind of winging it right now with what little information him and Irvin can pass back and forth, I think. Mm-hmm. That's what I think's going on now. They know of an overall goal, maybe? Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Like, right now their goal is to get Aaron back. Right. It, it's like they want him, and we think they are bad, so we must do everything we can to stop their plan, although we have no idea what their plan is. I mean, they got- or, you know, if they're on the right and we're on the wrong. But because they're not getting the answers. I don't yeah. feel like they're in the wrong. Yeah, you know I mean, like if I were them, I just wouldn't feel that way. I mean, maybe, but, you know, this whole Charter of Humanity thing, like, if all this carefully orchestrated play is the only way humanity can survive, and, like, they reveal it and everything's fucked. And... Mm-hmm. See, what I don't get, though, is, like, what was going on? What changed that the Colossal Titan had to show up and attack? Sure. You know, if all of this has been planned and they were like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're all going to be in the wall. We're just going to put stupid ass Titans out there. They're not a threat. We got the wall to protect us. We're good. But then why send off Bert Holt and Reiner to come in and attack Trost to push everyone in? What? There had to have been something that happened then. I don't know. Threat to so, something changed because then they said it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Maybe they knew that the coordinate was in this city and they were like, let's kick the bee's nest and it will reveal itself. Maybe. But even still, though, like, of, yeah, but you're still nothing like, happened having for, to rely on him getting eaten and all that. For uh, years. How long until Aaron uh, went to... Went through training. Yeah. Unless, we talk about the cellar, right. unless the issue was that, hey, we do this, we evacuate it, now we can search this city because we know there's something going on here. Sure, they know about the dad. Jaeger, right? Jaeger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dr. Jaeger Dr. or whatever. Jaeger. And, like, w- w- we saw a thing, too, where, like, Dr. Jaeger was leaving... Right? So he was going outside of the city. I thought he was going into the inner city. Was he? Because didn't, didn't Aaron on the way in, that's when he ran across his dad who was heading back when he needled him or whatever, right? Maybe. Isn't that when? Because that happened on his travels in. But yeah. where is he now? I don't know. I don't remember. Like, that would have been, like, episode three or two. Yeah. What's weird for me is to think about some like some of the villages that are still outside the walls. How do they... None of them are outside the walls. Yeah. They're in... 
there's like urban areas. Yeah. But in between the walls, there are villages and farms. Well, and we'll reword. There's no villages outside the outer wall. Right. Yeah. That's. What, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So there's. Yeah. There's the big hubs that they said like, hey, we do that so that the titans don't just all bunch up on like a single spot or something like that. Mm -hmm. But then within that wall, there's little villages between the two walls. Yeah. But, but then there's the hub cities that are built with their own walls around the edges. So, I don't know, the biggest, I think the biggest thing is that they found out if Jaeger's dad had, say he had the coordinate, and he's, then that's how Aaron got the coordinate, right? Okay. So sure. maybe they knew of his work, or somehow he had it, or that it was in, what, that was that Trost? That wasn't Trost, right? Trost uh, is the second city, right? Shingasima. So, sh right? Shing yeah, something like that. So that city that they attacked first, they knew of, like, the lab or the work that Aaron's dad was doing. Mm -hmm. So they attacked it. Well, get it evacuated. And so that, that makes sense, too, uh, of his behavior of, like, take this key, the answers are in the cellar, I gotta go. Because, you know, the plan's revealed or whatever, and he's in danger. Yeah. I mean, if he, if he was going back to the cellar, they could have caught him. They could have they could have his dad this whole time. They could. I don't know. Like, and who's the dad working for originally? Is he working for, like, the city? Or is he working for the Titans? Yeah. Or is he working for a third group that we don't know about? I don't know. Because it's just... I'm, I'm trying to think of what reason. Because if they planned all this and they've been keeping every, killing everybody and all this stuff, there has to be a reason why they started attacking and coming in if mm -hmm. they're in control of it all. Yeah. And, I mean, the, the cellar and all the things is the first thing I can think of. Well, they had Bertolt, um, they had Reiner, and they also had Anne. Mm -hmm. Annie, yeah. But still, like, and we don't know where Annie was in that time frame. Like, there's, like, what, five years in between? Uh... Like the the when that city got attacked and when they went into training, three years of training, three years of training of training, yeah. So they were training for three years. There were several years in between there though, because they had to get a little older to be able to go into. Because Aaron and Aaron Mika's are much. Said one older. three. I wrote two years ago. Maria fell. So just we'll just say five years, because at least we know there's at least five years in between. But I mean, I still have a lot. Five of time. years without incidents. At least five years. <laughs> yeah. At least five years. So between the first attack on the city to coming to when they attacked Trost, mm -hmm. I don't know what the connection would be except for Aaron was in both those locations. Yes. Right? So if he was the coordinate, they've been after the coordinate the whole time. So if they controlled the coordinate, they could control Titans. But then they lost that. Now they couldn't control Titans anymore. But they right. still seem to with, like, the Bigfoot Titan dude. Yeah. Yeah, he might just have a lesser power of it or... Maybe Reiner and them are working with another Titan faction. And, like, they need their own coordinate to fight this guy. Maybe. Yeah, like, there's a civil war between them. It'd be crazy. We go in, like, we went into all the crazy stuff in that. Now we go, we start going a little bit more sci-fi western with this, this, these new human things. Then we go into some kind of Titan civil war, yeah. like, by the end of the season or something. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be crazy. I just, yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what pieces have been set here that I'm just kind of like, well, I'll put these over here because that, I can't do anything with those. i got to find the edges first. Well, I you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, well, shit, I can put that right here. Well, I quite didn't understand was uh, Demo Revel. Demo Reeves? Reeves. Yeah. yeah. Reeves. Uh, yeah. The merchant. So, he cares about people not starving death and trust. But, like... You seem like a prick from before. Yeah. I, so. I'm just trying to think of, like, was there an ulterior motive? It's profit. What do you mean? Well, he seems concerned now about the fate of people, whereas then he was like, get my shit through, fuck these people. You know, it's profit. So if he can't sell to people because they got started to death, death, he has no money. At that moment, all of his money was on that cart. And if yeah. he can't get that cart through, he's got no money, regardless of his people or not. I guess. So I think it's all a profity kind of thing. So he's looking at this like, I need this cart to get through, or I'm losing out on all my money. Hmm. And then I'll find people to sell to. But here he's like, well, if if, ever, if all of, if all of humanity starves, I'm not getting any money. Yeah. So I think it, I think it's a profit thing for him. Okay. I guess that, that's my thought on it. He he's looking at it for like the picture of like what profit is. Now his son's gonna have to run the company, and they still might starve. Or, or I mean, like he failed, right? They said because I failed, they're gonna kill my son. They're gonna ruin my, my business. Dumb son. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why he was teaming up with Levi. I was like. If he teams with Levi, yeah. maybe he can stop him. He doesn't lose his business, and then he can st still keep... So do you think the son's going to go back to Levi, or is he going to go to uh, Kenny? No, he's not going to go to Kenny. He just watched Kenny kill his dad. I don't think he'll go there. Yeah, that's probably true. He's going yeah, go to go Levi. scared. I mean, if he goes to Kenny now, he's dead. Yeah. If he goes to Levi now, he's probably alive, and he can say what happened. It's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Man, just 
just take a just piss off the wagon. <laughs> You're in the middle of this crazy stuff, people killing people and everything. Bring a pissing jar. Yeah, something. I mean, you're on a wagon. It's not like a car. There ain't no door. Yeah. It's not like the streets aren't filled with piss in this type of medieval town anyway. Yeah. And shit. Just flowing down the streets. <sighs> King's Landing. Teacher that knew too much. The oh. hot air balloon. I remember the hot air, hearing about the hot air balloon before, I think. Really? The whore who had sex with the wrong person. That, I have no idea. Uh, it, did that conceive Historia? Historia. Could that have been That's Historia's mom, wondering. maybe? Historia's mom. Could any? Could all three? Are all three of those things something that we know something about? Like, is the teacher someone that we would know? Wasn't? Uh, I'm trying to think. Were Armin's parents teachers, or did they do the hot air balloon? I s- was his grandpa a teacher? I thought Armin was talking about a hot air balloon before. <clears throat> well, I definitely did not write down anything about the hot air balloon. I feel like. But a teacher thing may have been something I wrote down at some point. Uh, I'm not sure. But those things may be more things that we might get more information on. Like, he mentioned those three things just out of, because of, you know what I mean? Like, just... Mm-hmm. But those it are also, the three incidents. But it may be three things that are also, like, there's got to be good reasons why they did that. So, yeah, you know, the whore who had sex with the wrong person. Okay, so the Lord had sex and had a kid, and Historia's a rightful heir because of this kind of bastard child type of thing, you know, going on. You know, that kind of idea. Going back to episode four, like, what was up with the scene between Anne and her dad? Do you remember that? Annie? Annie, yeah. I mean, I remember it a little bit, but I don't remember exactly. She was, like, training him, or he was training her, and he was like, I'm I'm so sorry for this thing that I've done to you. It was kind of similar to the thing that Astoria's conversation had a little bit. but I don't know what the Rice being the true royal family means for anything. If maybe they were in power for so many generations and they got fucked. Uh, Maybe. I mean, they're not, they're not... If they're the rightful royal family, then, okay, sure, like, that's... They should be in charge instead of the other ones. I don't know what that means for us. I don't know what that means for our people. You know what I mean? Sure. Well, maybe I, I don't, a, little for the, a little for the common person. I, I don't really know who's in charge now. Right. Like, does that guy on the throne, I don't know who he is. So, I don't know if I've missed something. If that revelation, I should be like, oh, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I'm not quite sure what it means for that. But, Historia being the rightful heir to the throne... Like, maybe there's something more going on, and I, I, maybe, maybe it's something we're going to learn, or am I, did I miss something and the, the revelation should have hit me, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they mentioned, like, the blood of the king, right? Like, that has a it, meaning. That was back with Ymir. They were talking about yeah. that a lot, so. Um, and I guess maybe that was something, too. Maybe there was, like, the lost family. And maybe, his cookie ass vibe. maybe that's why Ymir is so attached to Historia as well, because Historia is the person that she Ymir was, was pretending to be. To be you maybe. know? And who's to say Ymir is from this city either? I mean, she looks different. No, I think she's from the city. I think she was raised here, and then she got thrown out, right? She got thrown off walls, but we don't know it was these walls. I don't think it was like another wall. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but we're down to Levi, Armin, Mikasa, Sasha, G- Jean, and Connie, I think. I've written seller exclamation point so many times in these notes. We gotta get to it. I think <laughs> I think that it's a reasonable assumption that the seller is the reason they attacked the first city, and that all has to do with something with Aaron and his dad and the coordinate. Okay. So, I, I don't know who got it and how it got to Aaron, but I think they've been after it. And I just want to know what this all. charter of humanity is. I don't know. Because we saw the charter of the scouts, like the last episode, the one before, but. Anything else? No. No? All right. Well, there's some thoughts. We'll just have to see what new stuff we get. Maybe we'll get another cool action scene again next next episode. Great episode. So we'll see you guys next time. But if you don't want to wait that long, make sure you guys check out patreon.com slash blindwave and or our website where early access is available at both of them. Um, right there. And subscribe so you don't miss out on any new episodes of anything coming out every single day. He should be dead. His nape is cut. See? It's a coin slot. He's a... Blah.